have everything from engineers to cell biologists to geneticists, and so that makes for an incredibly vibrant scientific community. It's very much recognized. It's one of the few centers where world-class scientists are also working together. If you really want to understand why humans get diseases and how to treat them, the obvious thing seems to be, let's look at humans. That's a bit like saying, what we'd really like to do is build a space shuttle, but we've never built anything before, and we don't know how anything flies. And that's clearly not how you build a space shuttle. What you do is you build hundreds and hundreds of prototypes, you fiddle with them, there are lots of crashes, it's not super expensive, and it's not super dangerous. I'm pretty sure that I have collaborations on almost every single floor of this building. There are so many trainees in such a small space. They talk to one another and they start collaborations. The Donnelly Center has people who have come from, I think, nearly every continent. And getting that diversity of ideas and backgrounds allows us to create new things. We study how specific genes drive cancer cells growth and proliferation and we're trying to understand how to target those genes with different technologies to be able to then perturb them and stop their growth so that we can then start potentially discovering drugs that might help different types of cancer. We're focused on trying to develop technologies that allow us to restore muscle strength in the setting of a number of different disorders. I'm interested in discovering new enzymes. We have maps of metabolism that are incomplete and we're looking for those missing links. If you look at the history of the last hundred years of progress in biology, so everything that we can think of now that helps us treat diseases has actually come from model organisms. That is where progress is made because we can do all these crazy experiments to figure new stuff out. So that's one thing is that we do make this progress. The flip side is you almost can never predict where that's going to come from.